Playing Africa's number one ranked team was never going to be an easy task, despite Brashek's insisting his young side will be the team to beat in this year's AFCON. So, what went wrong? We've been asking football fans across the country. The first 15 minutes of the second half was the best I've ever seen Bafana perform. The way they kept the ball, the way they looked on the attack, there were so many chances they had. I, I, it was just it was amazing to watch. Um, the penalty miss was a massive swing in momentum. He missed that penalty shootout. That's where, that's where uh, the, the players uh, were off. Uh, the the Amudres just go down like that because Brandy missed the shots. So, is it all over for our beloved Bafana? Not if history is anything to go by. Don't forget, in the 2010 World Cup, Spain were left dumbfounded by Switzerland in their first game, but ended up champions of the tournament. Even though we lost today, it doesn't mean we are going to lose forever. At least maybe Senegal will have a chance, but with Ghana, I don't see us coming back. Ghana is angry now. They want to win the, their next match. These supporters have a few words of advice for the boys. I think they need to work in their finishing because, I mean, we created so many opportunities, but we didn't convert them into goals. I think going forward, it will be great if they convert them into goals. We need Bernard Parker in that striking force also. South Africa plays Senegal on Friday, and a victory will be a lifeline.